My favorite football club in the entire world is Liverpool Football Club. Soccer, depending on where in the world you're watching this from, but it's football because it's the one where you actually kick the ball with your foot the entire the entire match. So yeah. Anyway, it's my favorite football club um, in the entire world. I'm a fan, fan, major, major fan, and sometimes you'll even see me with Liverpool gear. I digress. What does that have to do with the things we talk about in this channel? We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. But before I do, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Marissa Senya, and I am a freedom coach. Freedom coach, what, what does a freedom coach do? I help women who are feeling trapped in unhealthy relationships by providing strategic guidance and resources to them so that they can make a peaceful exit from relationship dynamics that no longer serve them. And today, um, I've been basically talking about in previous videos what it means to make a peaceful exit from a chaotic, toxic, unhealthy relationship pattern. And this is, I think, the third, this is gonna be the third and um, video for now, uh, where I will unpack this concept of peaceful exit. So let me circle back to, what does that have to do with my favorite football club? I'm so glad you asked. Well, um, so Liverpool, like I, I mentioned, is my favorite football club. I've been a fan for years. And one of the things I love about being a football fan, particularly Liverpool football club fan, is that is our sense of com camaraderie. I can go anywhere in the world and, you know, look up, you know, a Liverpool pub to find out where the fans will gather to watch a match during our Premier League season. And that's basically the league that we play um, football in, um, you know, and it's about a nine, 10 month situation, nine month uh, situation starts at the like in August and ends in May. So it's an entire, you know, school year, for example. Anyway, so I could go anywhere in the world and I will be able to connect with Liverpool fans. And I've had incredible experiences um, connecting with Liverpool fans. Um, you feel like you are part of um, the same family, an extended uh, family, this, this really rich community. Um, and we are all united by this love for this incredible football club with um, history and um, even though, you know, this last season wasn't so great, but we still love our club. I digress. So the club has a song, right? An anthem that we sing, and it's called You'll Never Walk Alone. And this was made, um, this song originated, you know, in the mid 1940s um, in a play, in a musical called Carousel, like Rogers and Hammerstein. But then it really took up and you know it took up steam in like the 50s and 60s when a local band um, where Liverpool was from Jerry and the Pacemakers um, you know kind of revamped the song and it was uh, you know going up like a top 10 going up the charts so um, I just kind of wanted to highlight the, the lyrics because it is relevant to a really critical aspect of having a peaceful exit, okay? And, and that is the importance and the power of support. So uh, here are the lyrics, just I'm gonna read it, I won't sing it. Not because I can't sing, just because I'm just gonna read it. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain. Though your dreams be tossed and blown, walk on, walk on, 
with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. And so that is, you know, like that signature chorus that we sing um, at the beginning of a football match. We sing when we're trying to galvanize the team. Um, that song has been our anthem and it's been part of some historic comebacks. And it's also comforted us um, through some, you know, really, really terrible tragedies that we've suffered. So the major thing here that this song talks about that's been comforting to me as a fan and that I want to offer to you is the importance of having a support system. Being able to peacefully exit a chaotic relationship is not something that you can do by yourself. It's not something that is, is an isolation. You need community. You need healthy community, right? Because you already have the people in your life that you are fearing their judgment. You already have the, the backlash that you are concerned about and maybe the people that you don't want to face. But really what's very, very important to being able to have your peace your inner peace, and to also be able to exit a situation that is um, harmful to you um, emotionally, physically, mentally, in all the ways, right, is having support, um, knowing that you are not in it alone. And I think that is one of the biggest lies that the fears that can end up circulating in our minds and um, can tell us during the worst of times is that nobody understands what you're going through. You're in this situation by yourself. Nobody, you know, nobody knows the trouble that you're in. And I just want to take a moment to say that you are not alone. You are not in the situation alone. You may feel alone and those feelings are valid and very real and powerful. But I just want to take a moment and cut through the noise to say that you are not alone and you do not have to walk this path alone. In fact, I urge you not to walk this path alone, okay? There is tremendous support and there's tremendous strength and power um, in leaning into a supportive, restorative community that where you feel safe, where you feel seen, and where you can get the guidance that you need to take the necessary steps to have your inner peace and of course have your outer uh, environment match what is starting to happen on the inside of you um, when you're cultivating peace by listening to your intuition, something we talked about in the, fir um, the first video of this series, right? Listening to your intuition and cr uh, creating space um, to prioritize yourself in a healthy self-care routine, right? Which is, uh, critically important when we talk about how we, we move from one place to the next. And then another thing that I really unpacked in the second video is the importance of facing your fears, right? When we do those things, um, those things, are, they're not easy, but um, especially the facing the fear part and not something that I would encourage you to do alone, which is why another critical aspect of a peaceful exit is doing so in within is being able to have a supportive community, right? Um, depending on where you're located in the world, there can be um, county, you know, regional ser services, services in your province, services in your county, in your state, um, where you know maybe that is provided by the local government. Um, also, there are organizations that work to support women who are in transition or would like to transition out of um, toxic um, relationship dynamics um, and to guide you to have that uh, access on the ground where you're located um, to help you navigate and to distill the noise that might be happening inside of you. Um, so 
this is really the just to urge you to say that you might feel alone when you are in a situation like this and you're trying to make a decision you are trying to get unstuck um, but I just want to urge you that you are not alone and to lean in to um, the support that is around you. It may not be, you may not be able to rely on family members, you may not be able to rely on friends, and that's okay, but that doesn't mean that you're alone. In fact, there are resources in your, in your district, in your province, in your city, um, whether they are provided on a government level or just community organizations, those resources exist. Um, and I'm, I'm encouraging you to, to reach out um, so that you do not feel that you're alone because you are not walking this path alone. You are held and you are supported and you deserve to live the kind of life where you are free and you're moving towards your freedom um, every step of the way. So if you know this video um, can serve as an encouragement or as a reminder to you that you are not alone, let it be so. But more than that, I want it to be a homework assignment because with coaching, we, we will not end the conversation without homework. Um, some sort of an action step, okay, is to um, identify identify a, a, a local uh, source of support. It could be a spiritual community that you've heard about. It could be um, a nonprofit organization, a civil society organization. Um, it could be a county resource organization. It could be an education center. The list goes on. Identify a source of support so that you can have that in-person local um, communication and outreach um, to meet you where you're at um, if you are in a, in a situation where you need that guidance in order to take that next step, okay? So if, again, if you're watching this and you know a woman that would benefit from the information that I am sharing, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Um, this is exactly why I do this. Um, it's important for women to know that they are not trapped and, um, and that there are options and they have options and they don't have to stay in anything that isn't serving them. All right, until next time, keep well.